Hello, my name is Jen. I am the Unorthodox Healer. This is a general tarot card reading. It's designed for any Leos out there. Whether you have that as your sun, moon or rising sign, you are very welcome. Um, I'm based in Scotland in the UK. This has been recorded on the 5th of July. I wanted to say June, which is the... Uh, the day of the full moon uh, for me I'm in the northern hemisphere and that is a very powerful time July is a very powerful time generally um, astrologically and the new moon is a time to um, set your intentions for um, the next 30 days until we get to the full moon and it's also a time to get rid out of your life of anything which is no longer serving you you can write it down, um, burn it and um, bury the, um, the ashes of the paper that you've written it on in the garden or in a flower pot or flush it down the toilet. Anything just to get rid of it and then send it up to the universe for them to deal with. Don't block anyone's toilet though with um, your, what, you, what you've written and burnt. So I take cards that jump out at me. Did I say that already? Um, and we're just going to see as to what cards we get. Oh, quite a few by the looks of things. Um, and we will take it from there. So we have the judgment card as the underlying energy. And then we have the knight of swords. Uh, no, that's the knight of cups. Seven of pentacles chariot which is a major arcana card two of cups the two of swords underneath the knight of cups the tower oh, that's always an exciting one the nine of swords six of pentacles and the three of swords i will See as to whether spirit wants to give me another card. Um, card to um, back up the three of clarify the three of swords, please. Thank you very much. And then we change the two of wands underneath, and we have the eight of cups. Clarifying the three of swords. So we have. The Knight of Cups clarified by the Two of Swords. Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Tower, which is a major arcana card, as is the Chariot, which is clarified by the Nine of Swords. We have the Two of Cups and the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups. And the underlying energy is now the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is this chap standing here with sort of two options. It's got two two ways two paths that he's he's thinking about going on everything's he's got a nice calm sea there he is looking out and the sun is up and he's he's just kind of contemplating what he should be doing with himself the knight of cups is about somebody coming with love or happiness Um, he's not coming at a particularly fast pace but underneath it you have the two of swords this is again see we have the two of cups the two of swords and we have the two of wands these are about decisions the two of swords this lady's blindfold she's, she's free to go wherever she wants but she is caught between two decisions two emotions and she is trying to use her intuition and how she feels rather than what she sees the knight of cups perhaps you have somebody in your life or you you have a situation where 
you don't know which path to take. The Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Tower. Now, the planetary activity at the moment is pretty bonkers. We have Saturn, I think, is just going retrograde. I think Neptune is about to as well. This new moon is in Cancer. And it is a time when a tower moment might happen whether you like it or not. Tower moments are things that happen to you, but they're happening for you and for your your betterment or the betterment of the situation that you're in. The Seven of Pentacles is a card which is you wondering as to whether all of the work that you've put in was worthwhile or not. You have the Six of Pentacles down here. And this card has these six pentacles here and it's got this rogue seventh one over here. The six of pentacles is about being generous. I wonder as to whether you're in this situation here of wondering what to do. because perhaps you've been too generous in a situation and now you're wondering as to whether it was worth it. The chariot is backed up by the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is about somebody worrying about stuff. They have this comfort blanket. It's got hearts on it and it's got the signs of the, some of the signs of the zodiac on it as well. And if she opened her eyes and took her hands away from her face, she would see that she has this, this, this love around her that she can't see because she's too, she's too caught up with feeling trapped with these emotions. The chariot, the chariot can either mean that this is a really fast moving energy. We have got the tower here, so it, this might be that it's just something that's happening really quickly. Or it might mean that you, you have control over the situation, but you just aren't using it. You can't see that you have control over the situation. I do wonder as to whether something towery is going to happen, which rather than you taking the control, that maybe it's going to take the control for you. The, the Two of Cups has the Six of Pentacles. And the Two of Cups is again about duality. It's about twos. And in this case, it is about sharing something with somebody else. Going back to the um, the seven of pentacles is this that you were too generous with somebody potentially you weren't generous enough um, this can work both ways as well but I think whatever happened in this situation is still something that is is very much on your mind because the next cards that we have are the three of swords and the ace of cups Three of Swords is about hurt or heartbreak. And the Ace of Cups is you walking away from a situation because it's not fulfilling you anymore. The 
Perhaps you're in a situation where you're not being fulfilled and you should be walking away and you're not and that something's going to happen to to get you out of this this emotional upset the thing that's keeping you awake at night the underlying energy is that you have the two of wands and that's a really nice card because it shows that you have got opportunities and you just have to put them into practice the two twos are about you know planning things and and about decisions and you clearly have two decisions here to make you're just not sure as to which ones to make might this mean that you have a new happiness coming in potentially but i think you have to walk away from something first for this to come it might be that this is a, a new relationship which is going to be really satisfying and and will bring generosity of spirit about for you but something needs to change and i do see that you are going to be walking away whether you maybe want to or not the recommendation would be that if you're not happy and it's it's giving you heartache and keeping you awake at night to walk away before the tower does it for you because then you're in control of it i know it's not easy but you have you have these opportunities here so try not to be scared um i know it's easy easily said but you the universe has your back here and if it brings a, a, an end to the heartache, then that can only be a good thing, surely. I'm going to do um, a spirit message card. Um, these are from uh, John Holland. Going to see as to what the guidance is from spirit for you. Um, whoops. That's uh, a very lively card, which is clearly wanted to jump out to speak to us and it's listen you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone now is not the time to be offering advice but to be a compassionate listener to listen fully and intently means to pay attention not to just what's being said but to what lies beneath the words i think that you have to listen to yourself here you have to listen to what your heart and your intuition is telling you. And also what this is that's keeping you awake at night. Also try and listen to spirit. There might be signs or, you know, numbers that you keep seeing. Look up to see as to what those numbers represent because they might be trying to, to tell you that everything is going to be all right. Should, should you move away from this situation i hope that that's been useful leo please don't be scared i feel as though that was a little bit of a depressing reading but the planets are doing so much weird stuff at the moment everything and everyone is is going to be feeling some turmoil so this is just temporary so stay strong practice self-love and gratitude and i will speak to you again soon bye